एवरी वन माई सेल्फ हरकम से हमने प्लानिंग की कि क्यों ना सोलर पे हम अपने एक्सपीरियंस को शेयर करें तो इसके लिए हमने एक YouTube चैनल शुरू किया है और मेरा जो पहला टॉपिक होगा वो सोलर के ऑपरेशन एंड मेंटेनेंस से रिलेटेड होगा आई होप वो अच्छा लगेगा जो लोग सिंसियरली उसको समझेंगे और जानेंगे कि बेसिक सोलर ऑपरेशन मेंटेनेंस में क्या क्या चीज़ें होती हैं और कैसे उसको सक्सेसफुल बनाया जाए तो इसी चीज़ के साथ शुरुआत करेंगे हम अपने वीडियो की हाई वी वन माई सेल परम जया आई एम वर्किंग इन सोलर फार्म Today I'm going to start my YouTube channel. Uh, the first chapter would be the basic of solar plant operation and maintenance because I'm working for last four years. So I like to share my knowledge also and to make sure that you will understand the basics of solar momentum so that I can also get benefit and you also. So let us start the first slide that is a solar plant operation and maintenance in which I am showing a photo. This is the one of the plant. in a karnataka which is of uh, 39 megawatt to make sure that there is no supply outage and there is no blackout and we make sure that the plant running successfully for so these uh, things how we can uh, make this surety that things going well so in that respect we have a plant maintenance and moreover operation so how we can uh, understand these things let begin with this slide now second slide under this we will discuss what are the points so here first we discuss the objective what are, what are our objectives the second one is the maintenance what are the maintenance and once we do maintenance the what are the flow of maintenance then after we have why we require maintenance the type of maintenance what tools we use the spares that we use so all these things we cover and in the last we will discuss the safety aspect also now our objective is what is a plant maintenance and then after what do you mean by asset maintenance also the plant maintenance is there then the word asset maintenance also come what does it mean then the different types of maintenance and the effective approach of the maintenance so these are the objectives now maintenance well you all are aware of the maintenance the word maintenance in a solar plant maintenance means to make sure the plant running successfully without any down or without any down time so in this we have a lot of uh, structural uh, activities under which we will uh, done this part so uh, in maintenance we have three types the first one is to mention the preventive maintenance then the corrective maintenance and the third one is the condition based maintenance now i i would like to mention these maintenance in a uh, simplest way so that you can understand what does maintenance means in your personal life i make an example through which you could understand the maintenance and the types of maintenance everybody know the maintenance means suppose your life is there so for your life you eat you check up medicines you uh, go for doctors to make sure that your life is uh, full of uh, healthiness and wellness right so suppose a solar plant of 30 years of uh, life let's suppose 30 years of life under this if we just uh, commission the plant and not take care of the maintenance does, does it survive for that 30 years no so in that case we have a maintenance and in maintenance the different types of maintenance also now as i said maintenance means and the it is scope of work now i said the flow of maintenance what is the flow of maintenance maintenance means first we need to schedule as i said planning schedule execution and track month suppose you want to be an is first you need to be scheduled your life first you need to schedule your planning then the execution right and the third one is a tracking once you have plan once you have uh, uh, tracking your system then you get success the same approach should apply here also in which we do these three things now next if we do something what would outcomes it would be like maintenance helps in a proper optimal production of energy rapid problem identification improve control and consistency over operations the last one is a comprehensive reports and transparency it's mean if we suppose if we maintain the plan well it outcome would well then automatically everybody get good returns also 
every stakeholder will be happy with our outcomes and ultimately it can be benefit back to us also so these things here will be captured if we maintain these things maintenance is proper then what as a result would we get and what are the perspective of these things approach now as i said maintenance not the types of maintenance what are the types of maintenance okay so uh, suppose we have a preventive maintenance under this what we do we have all the equipments under that we we check all the oem that means what are the manufacturer saying to make life successful what are the checklist based on that we make schedule okay so in uh, in that maintenance preventive maintenance it is a schedule part in a monthly basis in a weekly basis uh, in a a uh, uh, fairly basis and a yearly basis so this is a schedule maintenance it is not like uh, corrective maintenance or condition based maintenance these two are different from this preventive maintenance simply based on the equipment that we have how loud should we go high so we need to oem them checklist oem checklist means original uh, equipment manufacturer based on that we maintain our schedule now the second one is corrective maintenance suppose any any breakdown occur without uh, uh, without without in knowledge without any information prior to that how we uh, mitigate that issue so that comes the corrective maintenance the third one is condition based suppose we have any issue within a plant and we are aware of that if suppose in the next few future in next some uh, days it will happen like any uh, fault occur so what we should do before that anything happen so this come under condition based basically i have to make you show that what three types of maintenance from your personal life also in a uh, further uh, lives uh, here you can see all picture shows different activities before different uh, uh, panels inverters transformer pss cooling substations and all uh, through you can check they are doing a general inspection and the general thing nothing any uh, uh, condition based or corrective based you can check everything is there people are doing their uh, glowing glow uh, tightness ha uh, this called um, glowing okay there is a radiation sensor uh, clean you are going by bike okay suddenly what happened you get some injuries suppose your uh, bone get fracture okay so what you do you ultimately uh, ask somebody to come and take me to the hospital okay in in the short period of time you need to go to hospital or get a uh, 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 plaster to avoid any fracture in future so what happened in a fracture of second you get fractured and uh, you you need to go to hospital to uh, get plaster so the same is for corrective maintenance also suppose any transmission line trip transmission line trip means uh, any 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 line trip means whole plant trip so in that case we need to take corrective action we need to uh, we need to proactive in nature we suddenly need to go uh, find out the issue and rectify as soon as possible we need to uh, down the up time okay now next is the condition based maintenance the second uh, said i said suppose you are going to a, a doctor and uh, you are saying sir i have blood issues or something i don't know my uh, i'm not getting uh, food properly uh, my uh, my digestion is also not working so he check up and he give the suggestions ha uh, to take this pill take this medicine and check this uh, um, um, uh, spores test so what is this is the condition based that's mean you are not getting any affection affected by anything but you are supposed to get so what you do to the condition based maintenance the same way in the plant suppose any water is there okay we are going to preventive maintenance bouldering and all thing you are doing suddenly you observe that some bus bar has red 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 hot spot is there some switch is some reddish in color okay and still if you not replace it it will work so what you do you replace you inform to somebody side head like stalin or anybody so uh, suppose you, uh, you went and you check the preventive maintenance aspect but suddenly you observe some uh, black color or some red color observation in any uh, switch or anything what you do you inform to your side head sir this is happen i observe that then what happen you replace it replaces on the same time because you observe that it will run if you not replace it, 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 it still it will run but in next few month or next few days it will trip because of that so you take the prior action right so this come under condition based maintenance the same way the doctor you went uh, i had said in a story you are going to a doctor and then you said uh, sir i have some issue before anything happen you, you you are willing to go to the doctor the same way the condition based and corrective based example is a fracture happen to you the same way you say and the preventive maintenance lot of people are going for regular checkup you listen to the word regular checkup 
I'm going for regular checkup. So you can, you can see the preventive maintenance. I show you the corrective maintenance. Here you can see the first photo. Here you can see a transmission line is there and his jumper cut it, cut down, right? So next, what we do? This happened uh, uh, around 1, 1 uh, p.m. I was there only. Then uh, what we do? We replace immediately with the uh, with, with the minimum time of three hours. Okay. Then this is a corrective maintenance. It is not a preventive maintenance that you need to do. You get the uh, thing suddenly. So it is a common a preventive and not preventive maintenance but corrective maintenance, right? Because in this case, over plant trip, so loss generation loss is quite high. So we need to ensure that this should not happen. We need to take proactive approach. Here. Uh, we replace that and, and uh, plan in running, right? So these come the corrective maintenance. Now, condition based maintenance, I, will, I have let you inform that condition based maintenance is also important for plant perspective that I have given the example. Now, see the photo. Here it is a SCD. Here you can see the dot and the bus bar color. It is red in color and uh, this color almost. Okay. This condition based maintenance is what you can see here. This happened. Now, if you don't take care of this, even it will run. But you know that it will in future get tripped without any information get tripped. So what you do, you take the action, proper action, pro-action, proactive approach and you replace this with the new nerves and the biometric strips and the same thing happen, the same thing now after rectification. You can see the everything get better. So this is a condition base. It is nothing like the plant is getting tripped but you need to be ensured that things should not be uh, uh, harmed in future. So this comes as a condition base. Okay. Now we have discussed all the maintenance and every equipment have their own specific maintenance and all. We will discuss uh, one by one but now I will discuss what is a PV model maintenance. Anybody who asks now PV model, it's a simple a plate, two by one support approx. Nothing is going to do. We all need to do this cleaning but not the case. If you understand the thing, then a lot of things are there are interested in this. First, visual inspection. Right? The visual inspection of model is very important. The second, in visual inspection, we need to observe these things like the MC4 connection tightness, minor and major crack on glass, junction box melting, color of cell, uh, color of cell, frame damage, then the module nut bolt tightness, cable tight, foam status inside conduit. These all things should be checked up in a PP module. I add this slide just to uh, make sure that PP module <coughs> is not like just a plate. It is effective <coughs> and the primary uh, source of uh, energy. So we need to be ensured this is an important part of our floor plan. So every basic thing we require to ensure in this case. Now, as I discussed, what are the, uh, if, if, if you work in any organization, there is an approach how to uh, resolve the issue. So these are the level, how we uh, inform to site level how we uh, inform to uh, a manager level, how we inform the ritual level. This is not in my uh, today's lecture, I will discuss this if, if it is required in the next uh, lecture. So now, we have discussed maintenance, we have discussed the maintenance of particular TV module, now we discuss the sphere management. Why the sphere maintenance is important? You can see on the right, uh, left side of the slide, I mentioned uh, two arrows. One arrow is improvement in sphere partability, reduction in downtime of plant. That means if we have a spare in our plant, so we can reduce the downtime. If we don't have a spare, we can't. But because suppose an example, if I water is strip due to DC fuse failure and we don't have a spare, then what will happen? The loss of process is gone. Then we get the DC fuse, then it rectify. But suppose if we have a spare management properly, we have a stock of it, then we can rectify within a 10 to 15 or 30 minutes. So sphere management is also a broad way to understand the thing what, what we should do and what not to do. Here I am not going to discuss but I briefly uh, give the uh, idea on that. Now spheres is a roughly uh, slide. You can understand the sphere of a solar plant. You can see PV modules, uh, MC4 connectors, timbers, cables, fuses, fuses for our SFB, SFB. Then these are the uh, Spare for uh, transformers. So these things are the basic that I inform. Now, as I said in the first topic, that the safety is the first priority that I should inform you. But I consider in the last because so that I can get understand the first the maintenance part, then I can make you sure that you understand the safety. Here, uh, safety everybody know. 
any worker who work need to be safe safe in a all the area when safety is ensured he can do work effectively right so here you can see the four terms ptw tbt loto and sop what does mean by ptw permit to work tbt tool box toss loto means log out tag out sop means standard operating procedure right now tbt you here you can see it's myself there i am giving the instruction to the people this is called tool box toss in which we inform them what they are going to do right and what should be uh, uh, keep the safety aspect in line so all those things we discuss before the start of any work right the second one is the loto let lock out tag out means before doing any sort of work before doing any sort of uh, maintenance we ensure that our panel should be discharge our panel should be closed and the, all the locks or handle should be locked and property it is locked in, in the, this manner you can see why this happen because anybody any any foreign come any foreigner come and check oh our plant is still not need to open but when we have this ensure that something is going on online so we should not disturb so this is no no sop this it is very common word in everywhere you find the standard operating procedure any work in you know, wind start before there is a sop what and how we should do and what minimum tools be required so that we cover in standard operating procedure okay now these are the last slides in which during covid during corona what we do we make sure that the people should work with safety and precaution so we ensure the thermal scanning proper hand sanitization distancing even the devices or any equipment that we using we make sure it is sanitized well so these are the uh, photos that we ensure that thing so that is for today and i hope you like my uh, uh, this uh, lecture or so called a video which make ensure that i i do my best in next video with some other topic and make sure that the maintenance means the operation means and more broadly and more briefly i would uh, inform you on that so thank you so much for today thank you